Real quickly before we start today's video, just know that we stream each and every single day on YouTube at 1 a.m. Eastern. Make sure you turn on the channel notifications or follow me on all my socials so you can be notified whenever I do go live. That's the short little announcement just in case you ever want to catch a stream. We usually play Battle Royale. We're trying to go 12 and 0. Now let's go into making stuff. Now we got roughly 11 days left out of the second inning program. This Friday, we're getting Team Affinity Season 2, and they've already released some of the cards that we're going to be getting for Team Affinity Season 2. So make sure you keep an eye on their Twitter. But today what we're going to be discussing is how to make stubs and how to prepare yourself for the third inning program. So first things first, if you want to get 50k minimum extra experience, just like they did in the second inning program, in the third inning program, if you have collected each and every single boss from the second inning program, meaning these three, you will get 50k experience boost. Now, not only is this great to get a jump start, but they are also investments in order to make stubs. Now, it is very unlikely that each and every single card is going to have the same boost that Fernando Valenzuela had. And the reason that Fernando Valenzuela has had an insane boost in terms of pricing is because one he's considered one of the greatest if not the greatest pitcher on hall of fame and legend difficulty and then two since he was the least picked there's less of him in the community market and in everyone's inventory so if anyone went ahead and invested in a ton of fernando valenzuelas they're gonna be lucky because they're gonna be making a majority of stubs or a big amount of stubs considering he was selling at one point for 30k when i bought him he was for 30k as well now in general, Kenny Lofton, I got him for 30k, and right now he's selling for 55k. And as the year continues, as the collections increase, meaning as we get new collection sets like collect second half players or collect milestone players, these prices are going to continue to increase. So if you don't like the profit that you're making currently, then just hold. And I promise you that as time goes on, each and every single price will increase. But these are not bad investments right now. Each and every single boss is selling for underneath 35k if you put a buy order instead of instantly buying them and you'll be able to make big big stubs once that second inning program ends and the reason why you make big stubs and the reason why those cards inflate in price is because they're exclusive to that second inning program so once that second inning program is gone you will never be able to get those cards again now what are some other cards within the second inning program that are going to make you some stubs as well well if you look at these cards right here as I've said previously, they are gonna cost a lot of stubs later on in the year, especially the ones that have all-star, the ones that have veteran rookie, they might cost some stubs like Chipper Joe's definitely inflated in price as the year continues. But the reason why I don't emphasize on investing in rookie is because if you look at the second inning collections task, we already had a collect rookies. Now, yes, later on in the year, we're going to have another collections for rookies coming out and that is going to inflate their prices. But if you're going to invest in some rookies, it's going to be more of a long term investment. Another pack that's going to be very crucial is going to be this gold pack. Now, the all star sets, those are going to be the biggest two to invest in, in my opinion, because there are going to be a ton of rookies set cards coming out for the game and a lot of people they usually don't struggle to find the number needed to complete the rookie collections usually it's pretty easy but then all-star postseason and sets like that it usually gets a lot more difficult so this is definitely another pack that you guys want to go ahead and invest in as well as the bronze and silvers and you get a couple of them for free now the classic pack you guys might think it's a good investment and I'll be honest with you all short term if after the second inning program you're looking to make big stubs it's not gonna happen for example we can go ahead and look at Nathan Eovaldi because he was one of the diamonds from the first inning pack so we'll go to starting pitchers and then we'll go to flashbacks because he currently plays still in the MLB and we'll drop all the way down to Nathan Eovaldi right now he's selling for 5.7k a pop you can round it to 5.8k that means you're making back roughly or you're making a profit of roughly 200 stubs if you buy him for 5k a pop so clearly not a great profit margin but as the game progresses as a lot more people become smart with their investments and they buy a ton of him for 5k and then they start quick selling that and then buy a ton more for 5k so he becomes scarce inside the community market you can best believe that this card's price is going to go up to like 8k maybe even as high as 20k but in terms of long-term investments, those are definitely good cards to look at. The classic ones, 
in terms of short term, they're not going to be great ones to look at. And then let's look at another collection or let's look at the same collection we've been looking at. So you guys see how this is a rookie card set that we have to collect. Now, if we go to the community market, my webcam is probably blocking it. But if you go to the community market, you're going to see that the following set after rookie, excuse me, series, series, the following series after rookie is breakout. So my prediction is that somewhere along the lines for the third inning program, we're going to get a collect X amount of breakout players. And if you start investing in breakout players now, when that set comes out that you need to collect it, you're going to be able to make stubs. And if it doesn't come out in the third inning program, don't you worry, just hold diamond hands because it's going to come out eventually. And another reason why I'm led to believe that it's going to be coming out is look at this. You look at May, both of these were rookie sets, but then you look at the big reward for May and it's a breakout series player. So I'm predicting that for the month of June, we're probably gonna get a similar evolution pack for breakout players. And then the next series, instead of set, I keep on saying set, I don't know why, it's probably gonna be all-star. I'm positive that's almost the next one. It's actually veteran. So it might be veteran, it might be all-star. Usually they do all-star around the same time that the all-star game is out for MOB. So it probably isn't gonna be all-star. It probably is going to be veteran. And then last but not least, the next investments that I would go ahead and tell you all to go ahead and make is tops now because these cards they're gonna go up in price you better believe that they are gonna go up in price and I'm not talking about the cards that came out for the month of April so make sure you distinguish that we're talking about the cards that came out for the month of May the tops now moments for the month of May why for the month of May well if you did not know in terms of monthly awards, in terms of that program in general, you need to collect each and every single Tops Now card. So if you ever sold any of these, you're going to have to buy it back eventually. So you might as well buy it back now while it's cheap rather than when it's expensive. And when the program comes out and you see a 96, 97 overall Jesse Winker or some crazy lightning card like that, you're going to want to get that lightning card because it's free at the end of the day. But it's going to cost you some stubs because you sold cards instead of keeping each and every single one. If you don't sell any of your Tops Now Moments cards, you're going to be able to complete this program for absolutely free because they're going to give you an opportunity to get each and every single pack that came out for the month of May. But if you sell any of them, that is not going to be likely for you. Now, if you have enjoyed today's tips and advice, please make sure to hit that like button on this video, hit that red subscribe button, turn on the channel notifications. We stream each and every single day at 1 a.m. Eastern, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And if you want to be alerted whenever I do go live, make sure you follow me on all my socials. Once again, turn on the channel notifications. If you would like to become a member of the channel, you get exclusive perks. Make sure you hit that join button next to that red subscribe button or the link inside the description. As always, have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out.